Jermaine and I have been seeing each other for five years, and I feel his unconditional love. I love everything about him. He's just real, very real, and very loving. I'm truly happy. So funny, because people that I don't even know will come up to me and say, we would always see your smile, but could tell that you weren't happy deep down inside. And now when we look at you, your eyes just beam with love and happiness. Love and happiness. Love and happiness. That was Janet Jackson. That was Janet Jackson talking about hip-hop music mogul, Jermaine Dupri. He has produced the biggest hits for so many people, Mariah Carey and Alicia Keys and Usher and so many others. And Janet has not been shy when it comes to talking about the fireworks between them. Uh, let me read you a quote, one quote. She <laughs> says, Jermaine has taken me places I haven't been before. <laughs> Please explain that for the people. Yeah. We've gone to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all in one night. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. And day. Yeah. <laughs> so what does it feel like to have this kind of It's incredible. It's I thank God on a regular basis for him. I do and I, I he knows that. I tell him as well. You thank God. Yeah, for because him, that he has brought him into my life and brought us together. Jeremy, come on up here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nervous. So how did y'all meet? Nervous. Yeah. Well, how did, how, how, how did it, uh, not, not me, but how did it start? How did the fireworks start? Jermaine. <laughs> I heard he gave you, was it a two-way? It was my birthday, and I got a, a, a two-way pager, the, the latest model. Yeah. And I said, so when someone does something like that, you feel obligated to. So you'd to... work together. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had. Yes, we, yeah. We, well, we first met in 91. He came to the Rhythm Nation tour. Yeah. And that's when we first met. And uh, he did the remix for Someone to Call My Lover. Uh -huh. How ironic is that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he did the remix to it. And we remained friends from there on out. So for my birthday, he got me this two-way. And um, I felt obligated to give him my in my info, and I said, he's slick, this one. But he says, no, he said, honestly, I was just giving you a birthday present. Really? Yeah. You were being slick? No, nah, it was, you know, it's a good, it was a good gift, and I heard that she wanted it. And so you were just... Yeah, I just I, and it was that. true, I did want it. What is the one thing about Janet that you think people really don't know? Um, how fun she is, you know, just a fun person. She's, she's not quiet, people think she's... Yeah, quiet. we think she's shy. Yeah, no, no. That's what we think. No. So you're not shy? No, I, I've often told people that I'm, I'm not shy at all. I'm quiet uh -huh. when I'm first getting to meet a person, getting uh -huh. to know someone. But I, I, I used to be shy as a kid, but I'm, I'm not shy. Not shy anymore? No. OK. I know you said that, ja that he made you feel sexy even when you were overweight. I've never been with someone. And, and my weight has fluctuated throughout my life. And, I've never been with someone who just looks into my eyes and grabs all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it would say to me, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I, I don't mean it like that. I mean, he would, he would grab my little extra meat that I had. And, yeah. uh, and he would look into my eyes and say, I love you, and this needs love, too, and would just smile and kiss me. And I've never had that. Really? Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, lately you've been talking about, or at least I've read in some magazines, that you're thinking about children. I'd, I'd love to, God willing, it's, at some point. I guess, I guess it has to kind of be soon. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 40, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want children together? You do? Of course. You want many children? One child? I'm going to do the Jacksons over. I'm going to do the Jacksons <laughs> again. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you for coming up and talking to us. We'll be right back. Coming up, where is Janet's brother, Michael? Does she talk to him? I'm going to ask her.